My uh, name is Jude Buckley. I'm Executive um, Corporate Vice President um, at Samsung Electronics, managing what we call the MX division, which is the Mobile Experience division. So, and thank you, CTA, for always including Samsung in today's event, uh, in, the, in the events, and especially today, um, in, especially in front of an impressive um, industry. I think it's always a really great honor for us to be represented up here. So, um, this is a really exciting time for the MX business uh, for us in the US. And we're seeing a major transformation of consumers uh, and workforces as they digitize every aspect of their life, uh, independent of their location. This is leading to a massive demand for mobility solutions and enhanced connectivity, including what we have our defense grade security. And across the US, we're seeing that hybrid work environments are complicated. And we've been back uh, in the office for a, a five weeks now, and we have a bunch of work to do. But technology helps our employees stay safe and productive where they are but also promotes, uh, unfortunately, unsustainable life work balance practices, which we're continuing to kind of work through for our teams. Uh, and so Playbook, we're, st we're still refining. Um, we have a ton of work to do as a company in terms of bringing that hybrid workforce back into the office. Um, we are maintaining our focus on delivering the best in class 5G mobility solutions in new and innovative form factors, and at a wide variety of price points as well. And we are concentrating on the impact our technology and industry has on the world around us, and we are taking actions. So first, to explain a bit about Samsung's missions and sustainability efforts. We've said for many years, but at the core of the mobile experience work, the work that we do, is Samsung's broader mission, which is to create human-driven innovations that defy barriers and make a better world for all. For us, that means not only introducing new technologies and solutions that make our lives easier, and more convenient, but also doing it in a more sustainable way. Not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it's what our customers are now demanding. We have seen continued prioritization on sustainability and human health, and our customers are expecting sustainable business practices and operations from us all. So sometimes that means making a big change, like announcing in 2018 that our US operations would run on 100% renewable energy, and we achieved that goal in 2020. But we also have a company-wide belief that everyday changes can drive meaningful impact. It's an approach that has driven huge sustainability gains across all of our products. So earlier this year, we updated our solar cell TV remote control, um, already a groundbreaking product, to enable it to draw power from radio frequencies now, in addition to light sources. And this alone uh, avoids the production and disposal of up to 200 million batteries a year that were in the back of all our remote controls. Uh, at CES, we announced a collaboration with Patagonia uh, to combat microplastics that result from textiles and laundry and building in that technology into our washing machines. And we are committed to expanding our use of ocean-bound plastics across all of our products. And by the end of 2022, Samsung's use of recycled ocean-bound material could prevent more than 50 tons of discarded fishing nets from entering the world's oceans. Uh, the Galaxy 2, another example, packaging uses less than half the material of what we used in 2016 in our um, Galaxy X7 packaging. We use 100% recycled paper, and the limited plastic we do use in products still is 100% recycled. And we are on track for eliminating all plastics in our mobile devices by 2025. These type of efforts are a large part in why we now have over 350 Energy Star certified base models of tablets, notebooks, washers, dryers, dishwashers, air purifiers, and refrigerators. And since 2019, our product efficiency improvements have helped customers avoid an estimated 301 million metric tons of CO2 emissions, the equivalent of taking 65 million cars off the road uh, for a year. So what does that have to do with 5G? We believe 5G has the potential to drive significant sustainability gains, both for our own operations internally at Samsung, but also across society. The impact starts with Samsung's commitment to integrate sustainable practices across each stage of production and the product lifecycle of our 5G devices and equipment. But what will re really drive change at scale is the next generation of sustainability solutions that 5G will enable. What will make that vision a reality is access to 5G networks and devices, and the rapid progress on that front is nothing short of remarkable due to all the amazing work from everyone in this room. In addition to the rollout of mobile 5G, mid-band 5G is enabling us to expand connectivity via fixed wireless access. And a plug for, if they're still here, 
the U.S. government should consider as a valuable tool when it comes to the $42.5 billion that Congress appropriated for closing the digital divide, especially in rural areas and other places where geographical challenges make fiber cost prohibitive. So 5G is no longer an aspiration, it's here, and we're now seeing some concrete impacts of 5G as individuals and companies begin to build out 5G solutions that were not more than possibilities a couple of years ago. At a high level, the numbers related to 5G and sustainability are compelling. And you heard some of the similar numbers uh, earlier this morning, I think, starting from Meredith. But this year, CTI and Accenture Research found that 5G networks can enable the abatement of 330 million metric tons of carbon dioxide uh, equivalents by 2025, which is 20% of, of the current US emission reduction target. These numbers are, are undeniably impressive, and they come from a wide range of innovations and solutions. And in terms of network efficiency, the first place we are already seeing sustainability significant gains in the efficiency of network operations. In the same way that our teams have developed hardware and software to drive efficiency in our mobile, mobile devices, TVs, home appliances, Samsung is creating innovative network infrastructure product technologies that are more sustainable. Samsung is the largest semiconductor company uh, in the world, and our in-house chipset development enables us to create solutions that re reduce power consumption and physical size in all of our products. Our RAN software cuts down energy consumption in massive MIMO radios and baseband for both 4G and 5G networks. And the dynamic power on-off and carrier on-off features reduce the power usage of, a, of equipment at a cell site without any performance degradation at all. And further, we use predictive modeling and AI-based optimization to improve networks' usage patterns per cell, maximizing efficiency and reducing power consumption by up to 16%. Now, radios reduce power consumption by using natural convection cooling, eliminating the need for wasted electricity to maintain temperature, and having no fans in the cooling system has the side benefit increasing system reliability and reducing noise. We're also supporting carriers transition to software-based networks to deliver their 5G deployments. And in fact, we've developed the industry's first commercial 5G virtualized RAN to deliver cost savings and allow operators to manage benefits through a software-based 5G radio infrastructure. In fact, Samsung's 5G B RAN recently won a big award uh, at Mobile World Congress and the CTO Choice Award uh, in 2022. So all of this innovation is exciting. And what's most promising is these products aren't just sitting on shelves. We're seeing industry leaders like the carriers in the room today implement these solutions to build out faster, more efficient 5G networks. But the improved efficiency of networks is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the potential environmental impact of 5G. And where the greatest opportunity for change is how 5G will enable us to alter behavior and implement new solutions that reduce energy use. On our highways, and you've heard some of these stories already today, but we're all on the same page. On our highways, 5G connectivity will enable more efficient uh, traffic flows and management, not only making our lives more pleasant, but reducing significant uh, emissions significantly. On farms and ranch uh, ranches, uh, 5G can enable solutions like precision farming and smart machinery that will reduce the resource required to produce crops and livestock. And in healthcare, 5G is expanding telemedicine, enabling patients to receive secure remote uh, services that can be delivered over, over 5G networks, protecting additionally personal data. So in the workplace, the combination of 5G and solutions like um, Samsung's DeX um, is, a, is you can tether a phone to a monitor versus having an additional PC. And that wireless connectivity to a smartphone reduces the impact of long commutes and also the less devices you need. And in the manufacturing sector, defects and errors, maintenance issues, poor coordination, inefficient operations, all reduce productivity as a result, drive up emissions. We are working to see how our 5G networks and manufacturing facilities can resolve these issues and promote sustainability. And in fact, in Korea, our Samsung Network Smart Factory is equipped with a commercial 5G network that is improving our manufacturing flexibility and productivity. Video analytics and machine uh, vision enable real-time monitoring of production. And 5G-powered AI gives on-site workers enhanced information about assets and equipment with integrated access to remote experts who can help address more complex issues. Both within factories and across manufacturing districts, 5G-powered automated guided vehicles and positioning tags can ensure that assets, product parts, and finished products are where they need to be. And lastly, through smart meters, enhanced maintenance, and energy management system, 5Gs will drive efficiencies in building operations. We're so optimistic about this, 
because we did a pilot early this year, which we're now scaling. Uh, we introduced SmartThings Energy Service with new features, uh, including whole home energy monitoring, individual device monitoring, and energy switching. Samsung SmartThings IoT solution has given us a valuable perspective on how sensors, automation, and connectivity can combine to create a solution that gives customers greater control and transparency into home efficiency, energy use, and other sustainable living practices. Uh, connecting lights, appliances, and climate control through SmartThings central interface empowers our customers to take greater control of their energy footprint. The US Department of Energy estimates that you can save as much as 10% a year on heating and cooling by simply turning your thermostat back seven to 10 degrees for eight hours, that's Fahrenheit. If that was Celsius, it'd be pretty cold um, for eight hours a day. And when it comes to smart lighting controls, National Grid and TRC companies found that geofencing and room level controls can provide an additional 34% of energy savings. And while I IoT solutions like SmartThings have been mostly limited to solutions like Wi-Fi, ZigBee, and Z-Wave, 5G can take sensors and automation to another scale, expanding the IoT out of individual homes into offices and larger commercial environments. So to me, what makes this so exciting is we are far enough into 5G implementation that we'll be able to truly see how it improve our lives. And the conversations that we were having here at this forum two, three, four years ago um, was about m what might be. And, and now I think we're, we're seeing the beginning of what commercial applications can be. And yet at the same time, I think we're early enough in the process, and I think we're humble enough all to admit that we don't have a complete picture of what truly is possible, particularly as it relates to the sustainability benefits of 5G throughout the world. So 5G is a unique opportunity to build and implement solutions that can address one of the most existential challenges that our world faces, climate change. And I could not be more proud to be in an industry that's helping that solution to be a reality. So thank you all for having me and looking forward to seeing and hearing from you uh, later on today. Thanks so much. Thank you.